Hi everyone. So today we are going to have a small project based discussion with one of our very bright student, Abhijit. Now, Abhijit, uh, before we start this discussion on projects, why don't you start with a small introduction from your side? Yeah, sure. So myself, Abhijit, and I am diploma second year candidate from Saint Mary's Group of Institute. Uh, I joined BT uh, two months back when i got uh, i got my friend to me and he told me like there is a something called dt there then uh, one of my faculty from the dt who teaches he also told that yeah we have this kind of uh, software in the college you just come there and you join so after joining the dt i learned node.js then later uh, laterly i learned react.js i completed the full stack then i stepped into ml and currently we are planning to step into uh, prompt engineering team. So that's it. Okay, that's very interesting. And hi everyone, I'm Arthur. Today I'll be uh, having this small interaction with Abhijit. So um, Abhijit, let's talk about your project. What was your problem statement for the project? So actually what happens is whenever we have a event in our house, uh, so we need to share the photos to the relatives, which will be in a large amount of, uh, large amount of storage of the photos, like one photo, our one video is equal to around, if let's take an example of one photo, it will be around 10 MB, 20 MB, and it is, it's, it's a very high, uh, high storage, uh, high storage photo. And while coming to the video, it will take around 400, uh, 400 MB to 500 MB, which will also be a kind of difficult to share, uh, share through WhatsApp. Actually, the WhatsApp doesn't support this much, this much high, uh, high storage, uh, photo or video. So a lot of people what are doing is they are sharing through Google Drives and uh, such kinds of applications. But I thought that if we share the photos through the Google Drive, it can leak some kinds of information like your mail. And in case if we if this got pop into some uh, hackers or something, they can also can lead they lead, leak the passwords and some personal data of personal data which has been stored through the uh, through the mail. So me uh, so i came up with the problem uh, problem solution that i will create a website which allows user to store uh, to store the photos in the storage uh, i will give them a cloud storage in my website where they can store their photos individually like if the candidate is uh, if the candidate is uh, want to store the photos related to the healthy he can uh, create a separate catalog and if you want to store the uh, photos of the Sangeet you can create the another separate catalog so like this you can create a different kinds of catalogs and share the photos related to the catalogs or videos too so how this app is better than the other app so what is the uniqueness in the app the first thing is we are providing around 20 gb of storage really uh, 20 gb of storage on the uh, annual a subscription of 2000 and on the additional base we are also uh, we are also pro providing the extra storage based on the subscription and another thing is we are providing the full security where 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 we can't uh, able to where the hackers can't able to crack uh, crack the any uh, source of the code and they can they, they can't uh, step into the data personal data of a candidate so these are the uh, two major uh, these are the two major steps we are taking and one more uniqueness is uh, one more uniqueness is the ux it, it gives you the perfect ux like ux as they coming to the ui it will be a smooth ui and the coming to the ui ux it will be a, a very uh, wonderful because while coming to the google that there will be a kind of confusion but when you step into the gala glimpse there will be a no confusion even an uneducated candidate can understand that how to uh, step and how to uh, take the photos from there okay so this is uh, these are the uniqueness in my application and uh, uh, can we go through the prototype of the application sure i guess we can go before that uh, i would want to know uh, what is that extra security that you are providing you said right that you you have your app has extra security oh. so it doesn't yeah. leak data to anyone or data doesn't get hacked like it does for other applications so how are you providing yeah. that extra security uh, see uh, in an nowadays case, there are a lot of cyber security cases are going on. Like, uh, see, the problem is we got a new AI which convert a photos into the some kinds of uh, unwanted photos. 
I can't take the name actually, but it's not safe for the current generation. So what we are doing is we are providing a security which doesn't allow a hacker to enter into the uh, enter into the database or something like we can go through the blockchain development which protect every data which protect every data present in the application and we are hiring an ethical hacker with who's who who help in every way that the, the none of the hacker can enter into the database. So this is what we are providing the security. And one more reason is we will we will not take a database which which are on the blindness. Like there are a lot of servers who provide the database either in the free cost or other in the cheaper way. But if we go through that, there will be a chances of hacking. By that we will go from with some standard database. Uh, like uh, there are some cloud database called AWS and uh, so I can't get the name suddenly. So there are some cloud databases where we can store our data. So this is how the security will be provided. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, Abhijit, I guess we can now move on to a Figma prototype. You can share your screen and sure. show us your prototype. Mm -hmm. Okay, Abhijit. So this is your Figma. Can you? Yeah, it's my Figma. Okay. Can you guide us through the pages? Okay, I will guide you through. Through. So this is a um, main. So the uh, so here where you start our application. So let's click on the start. So first of all, we need to select in a category wise, like who you are. If you are creator, then you need to create a files and folders where you will store your event photos. And if you are a user. You will browse the photos which the creator added into the folders. Okay, so let's go. I will explain in more detail after entering into the categories. Okay, so when the creator will come here, if you already have the account, he will enter his mail and password, then he enters. If doesn't, then he will go with the register option. Okay, so let's go through the register option. So once he register, he uh, once he click on the register, he need to enter his name, email, phone number, and he need to create a separate email. A uh, separate email according to his, according to his, how he want to be the name of the mail. He can create that, but he he should not have to use at the rate gmail dot com. Instead of that, he need to use at the rate gala dot com because it's a separate. Uh, we are storing it in a separate uh, database, separate so domain. we don't a uh, separate domain. So we don't want the candidate to log in with the Google account so that a uh, hacker can't able to. Crack, uh, crack any kind of uh, code of the uh, any kind of data of the candidate. So we does not want to reveal at the gmail dot com. So this is what one. This is what the speciality of the application that we are giving a another kind of domain to the candidate to log in through that and uh, create mail, create password, then confirm password. Then he need to enter his phone number. Then the OTP verification will be done here. So first of all, entering into the application, there will be some terms and conditions showing to the candidate. After registration, you need to buy a subscription of 2000 rupees. After the subscription, you will get a five catalogs. Only creator can edit the catalog. Your data will be safe in our hand. No need to worry about it. Each cat, each catalog have two GB where he can store around thousand photos of the uh, thousand photos. Okay. So let's enter into the home page. So this is the home page where the creator need to create a file, create a folder. Then he will click on the create folder. He enter the event name, event type and uh, enter the password. I will tell you what is the use of the password. Okay. So once you enter the password, then uh, thank you for choosing us. We need to handle your data. So we need to collect the payment from you. Please click on the uh, given button below and follow the instructions. You get only five catalogs after the subscription to buy more catalogs, buy it from store. Okay. Uh, then we need to click on the payment. Uh, then uh, if there, if, if we had uh, announced any Redeem code where you will get some kinds of discount. It's maybe at twenty percent, thirty percent. If you have the redeem code, then you need to apply the redeem code. By that, uh, there will be a decrease in uh, subscription. Otherwise, you need to click on the continue. Then you need to choose the payment method. If it's a uh, Google Pay, then you can go with the Google Pay. After the scanning, you will get a confirmation. Then click on next. Okay. Then the automatically it will generate the five catalogs where you need to store your uh, where you need to store your event photos. Okay. So let's think in the catalog one I'm storing all my healthy function healthy function photos. So here it will be your healthy function photos. If, uh, then you need to uh, choose a catalog to 
according to according to your wish like if you want to store a healthy you can store healthy uh, if you want to store the sangeet you can go with that actually there are a lot of functions when you are uh, when we are uh, if we are uh, if you are going to attend any events or something there will be a lot of functions called haldi mehndi sangeet uh, bharat and uh, uh, marriages so they can store in all these catalogs if they want more catalogs then they can click on the store okay then they can click on number of catalogs they want a number of and the amount will be display by here then after uh, then after clicking on the confirmation you will get you will get the additional catalog here okay that okay ha uh, then okay so we had came through the uh, creator uh, creator folder no? now let's go with through the user user Uh, cat category okay before so once we, the user before we start the user folder uh is the user anyone who can access any file by the creator or can the creator approve whether the user can access or not creator yeah i got your point actually when the creator will create the folder okay so whenever the creator will create the folder there will be a uh, a uh, mail uh, there will be a, uh, they will provide one scan qr code and one password there okay so whenever the uh, creator want to share his images he will share through the qr code he will send the qr code and the password where the user need to log in with that and uh, as you told that the creator can able to manage whether the user should have to access the photos or not actually the thing is user can't able to access anything in that he can only just Save the photo or see the photo. That's all. He can't do anything there. Okay, but isn't there a potential security threat if the user can save the photo? So this, uh, so I just want to know that this QR code is it given by the creator to the user? Yeah, yeah, it's given by the creator to the user. Okay, so only if the creator uh gives the QR code to the user, then only the user can log in. Yeah, then only the user can access. Okay, nothing from your apps side is given. It's completely up to the creator. ha huh. yeah but the thing is user can't able to access anything in the folder he can only just see the photos and he can only save the photos but can't That's he it. use the photos after saving by saving it he can use it anywhere yeah, he can but uh, see the thing is the candidate uh, it's depend upon the creator for whom he is saying his qr code or password if he is if he share to his relatives only then it will be safe if we share someone who is enemies or something it will be dangerous for us we can't provide everything to the users na some steps should be taken by the user or some steps should be taken by the application user too so if the creator will be aware of this then we can be the safe but we can't provide like if the qr code spread to someone and the password also went to them to them if the if we send us the request we can block that but till that we can't do anything okay that makes sense Okay. Uh, yeah. See, we can go forward with this. Like QR code. Okay. Once the uh once the user will scan the QR code, he need to enter the four digit pin, which will be shared by the creator. Okay. Then once he click on the confirmation, he get the terms and conditions. Only a creator can edit the catalog. You are eligible to save the pics from the catalog. Don't share this QR code and password to any stranger. Then agree. And this uh this will be the interfere of. See when you go to the creator, uh, when you go <clears throat> through the creator, uh, creator, uh, creator, uh, category, you will see here like create folder or add any additional catalog. But when you go through the user interface, you can't user, uh, category, you can't able to see any kind of uh adding additional catalogs or editing the catalog. So this is what the speciality in this application is. Now we can just see the photos and save the photos. That's all. We can't able to do anything in it. Okay, so uh, does the user also need to create a Gmail uh, or a mail in your domain, or they don't? Actually, it's not uh, necessary. It's not mandatory to create any mail. We can directly enter into that. Okay. Okay. So your application is only responsible for uh, your protecting the creator data. Yeah. And then whoever the creator the is accessible, that's data. their choice. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Vijit, for showing the Figma. Um, okay. so now can we move into the 
more technical part of your project, can you show us the back end where the data is collected and how is the data processed through a full stack sure. application? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Can so, you show the back end, which is the front end? Should we go? Okay. So this is the back end and this is the front end. In the front end, there are only some style sheets are presented. So it's, it's just, uh, it's, we are just editing the front end of the application here. Like, uh, Defaults. Okay. And can you show us where the data is stored in the back end? How is the data stored? Sure. So in the back end, in the back end, uh, I will go with the step by step process, like how it's work. Okay. Uh, okay. So first of all, we need to assign assign the uh what do you say? All here. Can you please stop the record? Yes, Abhijit, you were showing us parameters. Yeah. So uh, first of all, we need to assign the parameters where where you add your input here and uh, input here, and you will get the output through the another set of parameters. For example, uh, really. so uh, after uh, when you when you add your parameter into this the okay. when you give the input through the parameter for example if the here is an event name okay so when you give the event name event type event date and event link it will store the data into the collection it will store the data into the uh, database where the collection name is photo card okay so uh, all the data will be collected in the collection.js where we had given the uh, database name which is photo card okay so all the collections or uh, like uh, data it may be the name type uh, date everything will be collected into the uh, photo card photo card collections uh, so any questions like okay so uh you collect the data and it's stored in this collection.js collection collection.js where okay. photo card is the Okay, and here you, uh, I mean, to protect this, you have this blockchain method that protects this yeah, data. Yeah, from, which protects it data. Yeah. Data from being leaked. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Abhijit, you can stop sharing a screen. Sure. Okay. okay, so during the entire process of this project, uh, did you face any problems, any errors? How did you solve them? How did you approach those errors? Did you get help? So the main thing is I was stuck in some, uh, stuck in some problematic, like in some technical, uh, some technical, uh, like whenever I try to create something, like I stuck into some uh, technical issues where I can, where there are the chances of, uh, occurring some errors or something so at that time some of the faculties in the dt helped me to push me from push me uh, push me to uh, work more relevantly on the project so yeah i got up i faced a lot of problems and uh, the dt faculties have helped me to uh, to work on the project more relevantly so yeah. okay that makes sense. So, uh, was there any part of the project or any part of the application that you changed from where you started? You know, you initially started with the framework and then you thought, okay, this might be something new I can introduce. This seems like a better idea. Hmm. I didn't get it. Can you please repeat that? Yeah. So, uh, let's say you started the project with one yeah. idea and then hmm. did you change anything, implemented a new idea into the application while, you know, designing the MVP? Well no, 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 I don't know that because while uh, before, uh, before I create something, first of all, I think twice that what should I need to add? Then once I fix that, I fix that, yeah, it should be like this only. Then I will directly implement and I will directly create the, uh, uh, create the framework of that like prototype. Then I will enter it when we step into the programming, uh, step into the building, the application or the program. So, yeah, no, I didn't did any editing after creating this application. That's Next, it. So did, but, uh, making the, did designing the MVP on Figma help you with that? You know, so that, you know, you MVP, don't have to do anything on, on the back end later. So did designing the MVP first help you? 
visualize the uh, designing the designing the mvp first gives me that some business logic like uh, how much uh, how much percent how much storage i'm giving to the candidate and what will be the mrp of that uh, it's all related to the business business so it doesn't involve me with the technical so i don't think like mvp help me to push my business logic but it doesn't help me to help me in technical system okay so how did you gain that technical uh, understanding of the project of how did you work on the back end what was the process like uh, first of all i uh, first i entered into building the back end <clears throat> i don't know anything i just uh, blindly claim uh, blindly step into the back end then while i was going on uh, creating some back end programs like i'm going on editing the uh, editing the kind of a program something then later uh, later moving on moving on i got to learn the uh, back end then after completing the back end in the node js then i stepped into the react js where i uh, where i edited the screens of the uh, screens and framework of the project uh, so like this slowly slowly i learned the full stack but okay. i am not yet pro in the full stack i am still a learner but that's Once i get the perfection then i mean you're in diploma second year and it's still very impressive yeah. that you completed a full stack project in just a few months but I, but i don't think it will be enough. okay Not so enough. uh how many projects have you done in total if you don't mind us oh uh, yeah overall i done three projects two projects are full stack and one is ml which is not, which is, which i haven't did in a proper way ml uh, the ml project is i haven't did in a proper way i still need to change some uh, extensions in that yeah that's it okay okay i guess that's about it abhijit thank you for this interaction it was really interesting from my side to know about your project and learn about it and getting to uh, learn about all this new completely new insights so thank you abhijit yeah. for it's okay